video, I'm going to show you area of similar shapes. Now, similar shapes, remember, they're just the same shape, they have the same angles, but they're different sizes. So here, I've got two similar triangles, and I need to work out the area of the larger triangle, and I know the length of both of the bases in these triangles. So, just like in my previous video of similarity when we're finding lengths, I'm going to start by writing down the unknown, the one I want to find. So, in this case, capital A. And then I have to divide by the corresponding area. So we've got the large area, and I'm going to divide by the corresponding area in the smaller triangle. I'm also going to divide the sides. So remember, I was doing the big triangle over the small. Well, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the sides. So I'm doing the large base, which is 6, over the small base in the small triangle, which is 3. Now, it's a little bit more difficult when we're mixing area with lengths. We have to watch out for the units. Remember the units for area in this question, they're centimetres squared. So our final answer should be in centimetres squared. This area is in centimetres squared already, so that's fine. But these two, these, these are lengths and these are just in centimetres. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that everything in this equation corresponds with what I need in my answer. So everything should be in centimetres squared. Well, this one already is, so that one's fine. But these ones, we need to square them. Because if we square centimetres, we get centimetres squared. So once you've squared those numbers, then you can continue to solve the equation. So remember, when you're solving an equation, if you've got a fraction like this, you need to get rid of the 4, and the opposite of dividing by 4 is to multiply by 4. So you're going to multiply by 4 on both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. Remember, where you do the opposite, they just cancel, and you're left with A, so capital A, the area. And on the right-hand side, remember, you're squaring that fraction, so you're squaring both of those numbers, and then you're timesing all of that answer by 4. So I'm just going to put that in the calculator and work out what that comes to. So I'm going to square this. Don't forget your brackets if you're squaring it. And then multiply by 4, which gives me 16. So that is the area of the larger triangle here. Now, just something I want to point out before I go on to the next one. Notice how I put the capital A on top. It doesn't actually matter which way round you divide, so if A was underneath, it will give you the same answer if you're doing the small triangle divided by the big or the big divided by the small. It's just easier to rearrange and solve that equation if you've got your unknown letter as the numerator. So I would advise you to try and do that if you can. Alright, on to the next one. example I've got two similar rectangles and I've been given both areas and I need to work out the length of Z so just as before start by writing down the unknown letter so in this case Z and now we're going to divide by the side that corresponds to this one but in the other shape so I'm, I'm going to divide by three now I need to put that equal to the areas divided by each other as well to form an equation so remember we're doing the big base divided by the small. So I have to do the same with the areas and do the big area divided by the small. So we've got 9 on top and 4 underneath. Now this time we're finding a length and this length will be in centimetres like this one. So we need everything to coordinate with that. Everything else in the equation needs to be in centimetres. So we know that one's okay, that one's already in centimetres. However, the areas are in centimetres squared. So we need to get rid of that squared so that they're just in centimetres, like the lengths. So to get rid of squared, the opposite is to square root. So what you need to do is square root all of that fraction before you continue and solve the equation. 
So remember, if z is being divided by 3, the opposite of dividing by 3 is to multiply by 3. So we times by 3, not forgetting to do the same thing on both sides of the, the equation. The left-hand side just cancels so that I'm left with z. And then I have to put all of this in the calculator. So I'm doing the square root of 9 over 4 and then multiplying that answer by 3. Well, I can probably do this one in my head because 9 and 4 are square numbers. So the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 4 is 2, and then I have to times that fraction by 3. So remember, it's like 3 over 1, so we times only the numerator by 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, and underneath, 2 times 1 is 2, which is the same as 4.5. So we found the length of the larger rectangle. It's 4.5 centimetres. All right, so one more challenge question to finish. Okay, so on to the last question. I can see I've got two similar triangles here because there's a set of parallel lines in this diagram which means this angle corresponds to this one here and this angle corresponds to that top one. So I'm going to redraw my two similar triangles just because it makes it a bit easier to understand the question when we can see the two similar shapes separately. So the small triangle here which is N, Y, M and the large one which is Y, X, Z. So I'm just going to put this information now onto the diagrams. So the length of X, Y, so on the big triangle here is five centimeters and the length of the small one here, M, Y, is two centimeters. We only know the area of the small triangle M, Y, N, so this one here, so that's four centimeters squared. And the first part of the question is to find the area of the triangle X, Y, Z, so the large one. So we're trying to work out that area. And I'm going to call that capital A. So just like in the previous example, I'm going to start by writing down the unknown, so capital A, so that's the area. And I'm going to divide by the area of the other shape. So I'm doing the large area divided by the small area. So I need to do the same when I'm dividing the sides. I need to do the large side divided by the small. Now, remember our, our answer for area, the units will be centimetres squared. So that means everything in our equation needs to read centimetres squared. So the two lengths, well, at the moment, they're just in centimetres. So we need to make sure we square those centimetres so that it corresponds with the area values. So I'm going to be squaring that fraction before I then multiply by four. So remember afterwards, you need to multiply by four on both sides of the equation to get rid of that denominator, which leaves you with the area. So let's put that in the calculator. So you've got all of that fraction, don't forget to put it in two brackets, squared, and then you need to multiply that answer by four, which gives you 25. And remember the units for area are centimeters squared. So we've done the first part of the question. We found the area of the triangle X, Y, Z, which is that large one there. Now the second part says find the area of M, N, Z, X. So M, N, Z, X is this shape here. Okay, so this trapezium, we've got to work out the area of the trapezium. Well, I know the area of the large triangle and we were given the area of the small triangle. So if I subtract that small triangle from the large triangle, it will give me the area of that trapezium. So for part two, so that was part one there, you're just doing 25 minus 4, which is 21 centimetres squared. So that part was nice and easy. So remember, if you get given just one diagram like this, do try to redraw the similar sh uh, shapes elsewhere because it makes it much easier to see what's going on. Anyway, so that's similarity with area. In my next video, I'll be doing similarity with volume. 
which is very similar to what we did today, but instead of squaring and square rooting, we'll be cubing and cube rooting. So uh, that's all for now, and goodbye from me.